Hello everyone, this is Josh Bastine, Instructional Technology Coordinator for Darlington County School District, here with another quick tech tip. This time we're actually going to transition a little bit into a new series on Chrome extensions, because there's a whole lot of awesome things in Chrome extensions that a lot of people don't know about. Um, so, just be aware the next several videos are going to be all about Chrome extensions. If you don't use Chrome, that's fine, no problem with that, I just personally prefer it, and most people have transitioned into Chrome. The first one I want to talk about is called Toby. And what it is, is it's basically a productivity type app that will, I'm sorry, productivity type extension that will update your new tab. So you'll notice I have Chrome open here. It's just open to the DCSD homepage. Whenever I open a new tab, normally I would get the Google new tab and then you would be able to search for stuff, but I've installed Toby. So this is my new tab. And what Toby allows you to do is to customize all these little buttons so that whenever you open a new tab, the things that you constantly use and you use a lot will be easily accessible. So whenever I open a new tab, let's say I need to go to the help desk, I just click on that and it opens up the help desk. Let's say I need to go to Schoology, I just click on that and it opens up Schoology. All kinds of cool stuff. I've bookmarked the smooth wall login so that if I ever need it, it's right there. This is free tech for teachers. It's a really cool technology blog. I've got TweetDeck to keep up on Twitter. I have PowerSchool. I've got my calendar and I also have my Google Drive. Down here below, I have all my professional development things that I do. Not all of them, but some. The ones that I do most often, the Drive Essentials and the MacBook Essentials, plus the sign-up sheets for them. And then down here, I also have the textbook sign-ins because I do a lot of stuff with textbook account management. So whenever I open up a new tab, I have all these things at my fingertips. I don't have to type it all in. And you can customize this. You can simply and easily add to it. So let's say that I wanted to add the Darlington County School District to my Toby. All you have to do is open it in a new tab. So if this isn't here and all I have is my Toby, there's nothing here. But if I open up in a new tab, darlington.k12.sc.us, it'll come up. And I look back at my new tab, it's right here. So if I wanted to add it, I simply click and drop. And now it's there. You notice it went away, but if I want it back, I just click on it and it comes right back up. You can customize Toby in a lot of different ways. You can create a bunch of different collections. You'll notice I have several different collections. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I have my DCSD collection, which has all the Darlington County stuff. I've got my PD, which has all those. It has my, I've got my textbook. And then I also have the Vimium, which is one I'm, I'm learning. I've installed the Vimium extension, which puts in some special keyboard shortcuts that I'll actually probably talk about later on. So I have all these different collections, so they're nice and organized. And if I want to, I can do BAM. And it'll open all of them. Now this obviously may take a minute on some computers, especially if you have a bunch of stuff um, running at the same time. You may or may not want to use that feature, but if you've got two or three web pages that you use at the same time every day, for example, if you um, if you got, have Gmail and you have PowerTeacher and you have Schoology that you use every single day, you can just go ahead and put those in a collection and whenever you open up your new tab, just click on open that tab and all of them will pop up for you. It'll be nice and pretty. So if you have any questions, comments, cries of outrage, please let me know. I'll be make sure to put a link to this in the description. Have a wonderful day.